Hi guys and welcome to the Guardian Druid Changes and Reworks Guide for BFA. Um, because this is the first tank I'm going to do, I'm going to go through survivability talents and then I'll be going through just straight full damage build. So to start off for your defensive build, you want to be taking brambles so that um, you're just dealing big damage to the targets that hit you. So brambles is always good and... It's just better than having Bristling Fur because if you forget to use Bristling Fur, you're losing so much rage. And Blood Fringe is not good because, yeah, just, yeah, I don't really like, I don't really like having that Blood Frenzy. Uh, Tiger's Dash again, I like, I really like that spell they've added. It just increases your speed massively. And yeah. Next one, Restoration Affinity always because you're getting healed, you're healing yourself all the time. Feral Affinity is not that good, What you don't want extra speed, and obviously the range isn't that good. So you always want to take Restoration Affinity all the, always. Next one's down to you again, I just take Typhoon so I can push adds away from me. Just like so. Next one you want to take, I always take Incarnation Guardian of Ursoc, due to the fact that when you use that, when you are on, when you have a big pull, all your spells have no, have no, have, have no cooldown, and you just have loads and loads of rage. So I always use that so I can just get off loads and loads of iron furs. And yeah, that's the reason behind that one. So it increases your survivability a lot. Um, next one I take is um, Guardian of a Loon. Due to the fact that every time I use a mangle, it's going to incre either increase the healing of my frenzied regeneration or increase my iron fur by two seconds. So you always want to take that one. Because Survival Instincts and Barksin already have a pretty long cooldown. And even with... Survival of the fittest, they've still got a really long cooldown. And Earth Warden, I just don't really I just don't really like having that. I like having the Guardian of Balloon. Next one, the talents are literally the same as there was in Legion, so I just take Pulverize due to the fact that it's just really, really good. You're taking less damage overall. So I'll just show it now how to build your um your rage and whatever. So you want to start off with if it was a big pull, you just pop your bark skin so that stuff's hitting you. Using your um, Frenzy Regeneration if you're low. If you're taking a lot of damage, obviously use your Survival Instincts. Just swipe, swipe, swipe. Make sure the targets are dotted up. You want to use your Pulverize so you're getting that damage reduction as well. And you're just dotting everything up. Iron Fur, Mangle. So obviously with that Mangle, you've got Guardian of the Loon. So you can use your Iron Fur and just increase the duration of that. Use your Pulverize. Use your Mangle so Iron Fur's duration's increased. So yeah, it's pretty much the same as Legion, but we have a few changes to talents. And now I'll go, I'll go into the full damage build and what you can what you can do with the full damage build. But as you can see, tanks have not been changed a lot in um in BFA because I think they're in a pretty good space in Legion, especially Guardian Druids. So yeah, for AOE, just full damage, you want to take Blood Frenzy, because obviously all the targets are going to be thrashed, and you're going to just be getting so much, so much rage off it. Next one's down to you, obviously. Next one, Restoration Affinity again, it's going to heal you. Typhoon, so I can push ads away. And I always take Incarnation here again as well, because you're obviously not going to be using Moonfire. And especially because they've taken out Lady and the Child, and you're just not going to have Legendaries, this is not that good. Galactical Guardian was bis if you had the shoulders because your Moonfire would be hitting all the targets and it's already got 20% increase from Lady and the Child and an extra 200% uh, on top of that. It's just really, really good. But obviously now it's not, so you take Incarn and Soul of the Forest increases your Mangle. You're not you're not going to be using Mangle for, um, to do big damage and obviously do big AoE damage. And the next one you want to take, it's down to you again, but, you know, Mangle's fine again, just in case you want to increase your Frenzy Regeneration or whatever. And for your next one, you just want to take your Lunar Beam. They've increased the damage of it, so it's going to deal big, big damage to the adds. So I'm just taking Lunar Beam now, and it heals you for quite a lot. So it's been buffed, so I don't know if it'll be tuned back to how it was and not being that good, but it's really good at the moment. So what you want to do is just start off with the, um, just go in. Just thrash all your targets, then start to um, swipe. Use your mangle because you got it for free, then put up iron fur. And just keep making sure that you're just swiping the targets, mangles. Just making sure mangles got um, stacked all the time. And just, yeah, just keeping up. Obviously, with more targets, we'd be getting loads and loads of rage from our thrashes hitting 
more targets. But at the moment, this is what it's like. And you can just keep up your iron fur if you need defensives. Or if you want to spend your rage on damage, you can just use your... Um, more. Obviously, that wasn't on my spell bar for some stupid reason. But yeah, so if you want to be defensive and you're going to see big damage incoming, make sure you have your iron fairs up. And if you don't, you'd be using it on mauls because that's going to deal big damage. And increase the damage of maul in the um, alpha, so that's gonna, it's really efficient now to use. Because in legion, it just wasn't efficient at all. It wasn't doing enough damage for the rage you spent on it. So now you just, yeah, just use a mangle. So now I'm, I know I'm not taking damage, so mangle. Keep him fresh up and swipe him. So yeah, that is it for Guardian. Not much to change for tanks. So it's pretty much the same, but yeah. I'll be bringing up more tank guides in the future, so like and subscribe, and comment below any suggestions. I'll see you in the next one.